Okay, shall we? Shall we start? Uh, okay, this uh, this is regarding the you know using a curve uh, to uh, as a, as a magnet. Let's say. Uh, well, we know that we can always choose. Uh, okay, before that, I want to mention something that uh, probably I didn't mention yesterday. Uh, you can you can rename the modifier in max. Well, that's uh, quite handy because sometimes you change. Uh, you know, I have this insert thing inside the edit poly. That was the edit poly modifier, and uh, I turn on this animate, and then I use the insert just like we did yesterday, and you already know that. But when I go to parametric array, because I have two edit poly, then I might mistake which one was the one that I, I did this uh, insert operation. So one trick is to rename the modifier. You can just right click and then say something here. And instead of edit poly, you can have it like a my edit poly. So when you go there and uh, an object, uh, uh, you you'll find it here under the uh, object. It's it, the name of the modifier that you just did. So this is the one that I changed something. So I don't mistake with uh, with this one which I just add on top. Uh, that's one thing that it's, it's good to know. And of course uh, I have my you know, insert amount here and then uh, well I add a magnet controller and uh, well instead of go here and pick the magnet uh, I use a curve controller as a reference controller. So I didn't pick the curve as a magnet node. So if you go inside the curve controller, it's just like a you know regular curve controller. You have this line here. I already assigned that to my curve controller. And it's very important that from the output you choose the closest point here, the last one. That that returns the the closest point on the curve that it's uh, to to your object. So basically, for example, I will say I'm, I'm, I'm on this object. The closest point on the curve to this object is somewhere around here. It's definitely not here and not there. It's somewhere here. And then the magnet controller considers that point as magnet point and the rest is just like before. So that's why the curve is acting like a magnet in the pattern. Uh, 